Hey friends, in this video I'm going to be talking about the cubed root of numbers. You should have already seen the cube video on how to cube numbers and up here I have my um, reminders of one cubed which means one times one times one which is one and two cubed is eight and three cubed is twenty seven, it's three times three times three and four cubed is four times four times four which is sixty four. So these are uh, what are called the perfect cubes and we talked already about perfect cubes of a number. So the cubed root of a number is similar um, to the square root of a number. So I'm going to remind you again of what we talked about with square, squaring and square rooting. So if you can remember back when we looked at perfect squares, we talked about perfect squares are when you take a number like 5 and you do 5 times 5 and you get 25. And the square root is the inverse of that. That's when you take uh, the square root of 25 and you get something like 5. So it's going the other way where you're saying what number times itself will equal the number in the root box. That's what square uh, roots are. We already covered that. So cubed roots are pretty much the same thing except it's asking what number times what number times what number um, equals the number in the box. So it's, it's basically the opposite. What number cubed will equal this number? So, for example, what number cubed equals 1? The answer is 1. And what number cubed equals 2? Or, I'm sorry, equals 8, and the answer is 2. And what number cubed equals 27? And the answer is 3. So, that's what a cubed root is. It's a way of figuring out what number, when you cube it, equals the number in the cubed box. Now, it's represented with the little 3 and then the root box, unlike the square root, which has no number. It's just automatically assumed that it's the square root but the cubed root has the little 3 next to it. Okay, So you're going to do it a little bit differently on a calculator. I'm going to show you how to do it on a calculator. So in these beautiful um, cube drawings that I made, thank you very much, uh, I gave the lengths of the sides of the cube and then we cubed it to find, for example, a 6 by 6 by 6 cube is made up of 216 cubes. And it's easy to understand that, oh, okay, well then the cubed root of 216 is 6. So let me show you a little bit different example over here. So here I have, let's look at this example first. This is 512 and that's the amount of cubes that the whole cube tapes, uh, takes up. Those are cubic units. Um, and now I have to figure out, well, what are the sides of that cube? So what number cubed equals um, 512? And I'm going to show you that on this piece of paper here and I'll show you how to do it again with the two different types of calculators that we look at. The class calculator is a little bit easier to do. So again, the number was 512, so I'm looking for the cubed root, so I do a little 3 and a, house, and a root house and I write 512. I gotta figure out what that equals, so what number cubed equals 512. Now these calculators are really nice because they have a root shortcut, um, a cubed root shortcut. So they have the squaring buttons, so there's the squared button and the, the um, square root of x button. But there's one of the second features, remember the second features of the, the features in, in yellow or orange is the second button. Uh, I'm going to use that and if you look down here under or above zero there's a shortcut that says the cubed root of x. So what I'm going to do is First, I'm going to type the number that I want to be rooted. The number I want to be rooted is 512. So I type that into the calculator. 512. And now I'm going to find the cube root of it. So again, I, I want the second feature on the zero, so I'm going to hit second first. So I'm going to do second, and then I'm going to hit that zero. And there it is. The cubed root of 512 is 8. That means that the sides of that cube are 8. It's an 8 by 8 by 8 cube if, the, if, the, um, if there's 512 cubic units. And I can check that answer by taking 8, so I'll clear that, I'll hit 8, and I'll check that by doing 8 times 8 times 8 or 8 cubed. So I'm actually going to do the y to the x button and then I'm going to hit 3 so I can, there it is, 512. So I did y to the x, which is the exponent button, type 3, and then I cubed that 8 and got 512. So my answer is right. Okay, I'm going to show you the other example on the other calculator. So there I have a 3,375 cubic unit cube and I want to know what the sides are. So I'm going to do the cubed root 
of 3,375. Now I'll show you on this calculator. Unfortunately, this calculator is a little tougher. This one's easier. I just hit second zero after I type the number and I'm good. This one doesn't have any um, shortcuts for cube rooting, but there is a, a, a right above your exponent button, and if you watch the video on uh, cubing, which you should have, above that in orange you'll see that there's an X root button. That's your root button, but you can make it any root you want. We're going to do the cubic root, which means three, because in math um, you can have a root house with any number here, but we're just looking at the cube root. So what we have to tell the calculator first, well first we have to say turn on, we need on these calculators to actually type the three first. So I'm going to type this three first, this three first. I'll show you on the 512. So again, I'll type three and that tells the, I'm telling the calculator I'm about to do this, but the calculator doesn't know what the three is for unless I say I'm going to do the root. So again, I'm using this second feature on my exponent button, I call it the house button, but it's the exponent button, so by hitting the second button, second, and then I hit the house button, and you'll notice on the screen I get three, and then it says x root, so now it's ready for me to type the root of that number. Um, again, I'll just show you the five, well actually no, I'll do the 3,000, so the 3,375, 3,375, and then I hit enter, and it turns out that it's 15. So 15 cubed would be 3,375, so that means that the cubed root of 3,375 is 15, which means that on my little cube up there, there, there she is. Wait, there she is. The sides of that cube are 15. Okay, so that's what cube rooting is. And, I'll, and on, again, on this, this calculator is pretty simple because I have that little... Some calculators have it, so if you don't have either one of those calculators, you have to look to see, do you have a cubed root? Like, see there it says 3 and then root x, meaning the cubed root of x, but this calculator doesn't have that. This calculator has x root. Okay, so you have to look on your calculator. They're all a little different. I'll show just two last examples, again, on this blue calculator. So again, I'm doing here I'm doing the cubed root of 343. So I'm going to type 3. And then I'm going to do the root. So I hit second. And then there it is. So that's the cubed root. That's what it'll look like. 3. And then root. So it's the cubed root of, uh, what was it again? 1,728. I hit enter and I get 12. Now if you don't get a whole number, that just means that the number that you tried to root isn't a perfect cube. Not all numbers are perfect cubes. Um, again, if we look up there, we, when I cube the whole numbers, 1, 2, like I can cube 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the whole numbers, when you cube those you get these numbers called perfect cubes, but not every number is perfect cube. For example, 50 isn't a perfect cube. So if I try to do the cubed root, so whoops, I'll hit 3, and then I'll do cubed root of 50. Now 50 isn't a perfect cube. If I hit equals, you'll notice I get this long decimal. It's called an irrational number. It's, it's not a real, um, oh, I'm sorry, it is a real number, but it's, it's called irrational. It's not, it's not a whole number. Um, and then on this last example here, I have to do the cubed root of 343. Again, I'll show it on this one. Actually, I'll, I'll switch the... Uh, I like when calculators have an uh, actual cubed root button, because all i got to do is type in... You'll notice on this one I have to type 343 first, and then I say, oh, take that number and find the cube root of it by doing second zero, and I get the cube root, which is 7. But on this calculator, I have to say, hey, I want to 3 second house or exponent, I have to tell this I'm doing the cube root first. So it's weird because they're a little opposite. And then again the number was 343. Three. You'll notice I still get 7. Okay? So that is cube rooting. Hope this helped. See you in class.